क्वेश्चन आई एम टेकिंग अप इज मरीन हीट वेव्स मरीन हीट वेव्स हैव इंक्रीज्ड हैव इंक्रीज्ड इन अ फ्रीक्वेंसी हैव इंक्रीज्ड इन फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड इंटेंसिटी एंड इंटेंसिटी अक्रॉस अक्रॉस डिफरेंट अक्रॉस डिफरेंट रीजन्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड अक्रॉस डिफरेंट रीजन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड substantiate substantiate uh, uh, this statement this statement uh, with case studies with case uh, studies from different regions from uh, uh, different regions okay so this is a current affair based question marine heat waves have increased in frequency and intensity across different regions of the world okay substantiate this statement with case studies from different regions now listen you must you must know how to answer such questions even if you have not read this in detail ek to tarika ye hai aapne question dekha you start google searching you find out what are the uh, you know what are the discussions you can write on and then you write the answer the second is try this answer from whatever you already know okay forget about the definition of what is marine heat wave at least can you guess and write ki marine heat wave is about the unusual warming of the ocean for a substantial length of time itna to pata hi hai aapko it's a heat wave unusual condition where the oceans are warmer than usual and like a heat wave they happen for a substantial length of time So even if I do not know the objective definition of the marine heat wave, हम उतना दिख ही सकते हैं। अच्छा, is is saying it has increased in frequency and intensity across regions of the world. Now you tell me, say मैंने पढ़ा ही नहीं है इसको. You tell me where all could the marine heat wave phenomena happen across the world? Can you give me four five areas? Now, आप एक बात listen to me. First, tell me. where do you think it's more likely marine heat wave is more likely in the open oceans or more likely in the enclosed seas or more likely along the coasts kahan par zyada hoga ab batao think 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 about this question without really reading anything so my answer will be open seas may less likely it's more likely along the coast correct and more likely along the enclosed water body ho sakta hai Now give me names of four, five such bodies. कहाँ कहाँ हो सकता है? Where all can we have marine heat waves? Can I say Mediterranean Sea? Yes. Can I say Arabian Sea? Can I say Arabian Sea? Can I say Bay of Bengal? Okay. Can I mention Caribbean Sea? Caribbean Sea? Yes. Okay. We can talk about Coral Sea. We can talk about Tasman Sea. Okay. Can you talk about Philippine Sea? Philippine Sea, you cannot go wrong in this. The reality is, the marine heat wave has happened in some specific locations. But I don't know. I have not read it. So if I am bluffing my way, I should know where to bluff. I should know that most of it has happened. Okay, one. Number two. Tell me, tell me, what do you think is the average temperature of the oceans? Ah, uh, tell me. What do you think is the average temperature of the oceans in general? How much is it? Keep a range. Keep a range. Range around twenty three, twenty five, twenty six. A range will be okay for the tropical waters. For the temperate waters, what will be the range? Okay, it will be range of what? Temperate waters around fifteen degrees centigrade, eighteen degrees centigrade. Ye hoga. You can't go wrong with the range. So if I'm saying marine heat waves, can I simply rather than saying temp temperate, can I say the temperatures have increased? Okay. Maybe ten percent, five percent. You tell me what number you think you can use. Ah, tell me. Okay, if I talk in the percentage, what do you think? Ten percent increase is a huge increase. Ah, uh, generally it is yeah in the range of okay three, four, five percent increase increase. Okay, two, three, and this marine heat wave definitely is more than the regular. Okay, so in the range of maybe uh, five, uh, three degrees, two degrees, four degrees. Keep a range. That's all. So now look at my answer. I'm saying marine heat wave is a condition where 
the ocean warming has resulted in a persistently higher temperature than usual for an elongated length of time. In general, the oceans have been warming because the oceans are absorbing bulk of the insulation. Okay, uh, uh, global warming has resulted in increase of the average temperature of the oceans. But in some of the enclosed water bodies and those along the coastal regions, there is an increase of approximately okay, uh, two, three to four degrees centigrade okay, temperature for a consistently longer duration, impacting ocean conditions and ocean marine life. Some of the areas where we have seen marine heat wave are Mediterranean Sea region, Caribbean Sea region, Indian Ocean in the north, including Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal, parts of South China Sea, uh, Philippine Sea, and along the coasts of California, Peru, and Australia. Make sense? And you know, if I'm a bit more smarter, I will say along the coasts of North America, South America, Australia. Well, I didn't leave it's impossible you can say I'm wrong. Ab East Coast, West Coast, I don't know if it's East Coast or West Coast. Hai. See, you will have to be smart here. Okay? Not all questions you know exactly. But you can't manage with this, then you are in trouble. Okay? Now tell me, now tell me five reasons. Okay? Now, aapne padha nahi, you have not read at all. Tell me five reasons that you think are responsible for marine heat wave. Badao. And make it look, now don't say climate change, Shravanya. Climate change. Bhagavan hi dete na. Why, why global warming is a divine okay, uh, conspiracy against mankind. Kaam khatam tha. Climate change bhi kyun bol rahe ho? Okay, forest fire. Okay, forest fire, jungle mein aapne aag laga diya. Think again. Give me a good reason why marine mein, and let it look like you are studied. One is, yes. And the glacier melting will actually cool the waters. <laughs> now see, see, see how you miss out the questions. Okay, one reason. See, see, tell me if you know this or not. Okay, uh, because of because of ocean atmosphere interaction. Okay, there is a higher, there is higher. Okay, absorption absorption of a long wave radiation in the oceans. Number two, higher incidences of insulation and because oceans have a higher, oceans have higher a surface area and therefore, therefore more a heating associated with with higher uh, solar solar energy receipt higher energy receipt in in the in the high solar activity years number 3 a higher uh, heat influx higher heat influx uh, from the land because of Okay, greater, greater land, uh, uh, summer temperatures associated with, with global warming extremes. Maine koi document padha nahi hai. I am trying to bluff my way, as simple as that. But does this look like geography and does this look like it is wrong? If I say ocean atmosphere interaction, okay, where oceans, you talk about the heat budget, whatever. So more amount of atmospheric absorption and from atmosphere, the oceans also absorb. Okay, so radiation exchange ho gaya long wave ka. Second is from the sun itself. When we have high solar activity years, oceans have more surface area, so absorption of more sunlight. Okay. Now we have the more heat influx. Okay, more amount of heat coming from the land. More amount of heat coming from the uh, the coastal areas, and the oceans are warming up. Okay, and plus plus you could also add addition addition of addition of pollutants. 
pollutants increased influx increased influx of of say wastes wastes responsible for responsible for a higher uh, heat absorption in the oceans i don't know if you know this or not plastic is a very very efficient form of absorption of heat the micro plastic pollutions hain the nano plastic pollutions they also are capable of absorbing the heat okay so if i add these four reasons okay does this look fine all of you like i said i have not done any specialized reading of the topic i am writing from what i know now this is something you guys have to learn so what i did till now is i have discussed okay i have told you what is it i have told you what are the regions where we have it i have told you why do we have the marine heat waves in recent times okay so i have explained what it is with some idea of the numbers regions bata diya enclosed seas tropical waters coasts of continents and why do we have this so ye four reasons mein i have explained why do we have the marine heat waves make sense all of you now your question was on don't forget the question the question was on marine heat wave has increased in frequency and density across different regions of the world substantiate this with case studies from different regions now you tell me what regions you want to pick up which is not wrong so i will say do pick up mediterranean you can't go wrong with this do pick up arabian sea alag se aap bay of bengal rakh sakte ho and i'll say uh, do pick up do pick up south china sea and the philippine sea can i be wrong in these four yes so once i know mediterranean i'll talk about a bit more on mediterranean kitna hua hai kya hua hai what effect once i know arabian sea bay of bengal i know there are cyclones i know there is uh, algal bloom here i know the problems of uh, coral bleaching i can go on there yes okay south china sea philippines sea i can link this with the enso cycles also so this is a question you cannot say that i should not be asked and i can't write of course i am going to bata de exactly how have we handled it because now what we have done is we framed a question research the uh, internet taken facts and i am giving you a model answer but even if i don't give a model answer this is your structure of the answer so maybe one paragraph on mediterranean sea enclosed water bodies okay the area of high salinity lot of heat influx uh, from the coastal areas less of mixing it impacts salinity it impacts okay medicanes or those hurricanes along the coasts so one paragraph on mediterranean sea one paragraph on arabian sea and bay of bengal you know about cyclone and so on so my suggestion to you is in the oceanography textbook aap na ye do maps yaad karna please know the salinity maps of the oceans and do know the 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 temperature maps of the oceans ye do maps aap karke jana know the map of of okay atlantic ocean pacific ocean know the map of okay indian ocean salinity maps and if you know these maps you can easily superimpose it on them the average temperatures of mediterranean sea from the range of around 35 degree centigrade the average temperature of arabian sea bay of bengal in the range of around okay 20 degree sorry 27 degree 28 degree centigrade use those numbers to say that there has been higher warming because of marine heat waves okay now let me show you the answer that we wrote this was about how you would have handled if you did not know about this topic okay now i'm showing you the answer from my side okay so marine heat waves have increased in frequency and intensity okay 50 mark question so this is some fact isme kuch karna nahi hai you just remember these facts 24 cycles of marine heat waves in 50 years lasting for few weeks okay intensity has increased isme definition add kar lo yahan par what is the marine heat wave 
Marine heat wave is when the average temperatures are more than, it's than Wikipedia, nothing new I'm writing down. Marine heat wave is a condition where the temperatures are more than 90 percentile of 30 year average. Are more than 90 percentile of 30 years average for at least five days at a stretch. That is defined as what is the marine heat wave. Agar ab pata hai to likh lena. Otherwise, you can use this. And what areas we have had marine heat waves? So it says Mediterranean Sea. We have parts of Californian coast along Pacific. We have some parts along Atlantic coast. We have some parts along the Australian coast. So this is if you knew it. Otherwise, okay, it doesn't matter. You still have the answer with you. So we know it's impossible. We didn't have marine heat waves in parts of Indian Ocean. But this okay, diagram we have added. Okay, and in diagram may impacts impacts ecosystem, coral, kelp, fisheries, loss of biodiversity. Okay, so uh, warm weather, Pacific Northwest, uh, Atlantic warmer conditions, Mediterranean again warm, so four degrees centigrade, two and a half degrees centigrade, two and a half degrees centigrade, three degrees centigrade. Oh, wait, I have kept the range. Rakhna. Two, three, four degrees centigrade above average. That's a fair amount of marine heat wave. You couldn't have gone wrong with that. I guess you have drawn a map. Now, specifically, okay, what happened at the Californian coast? What happened at the Tasmanian coast? Caribbean Sea Island region also has had, and Southeast Australia. Trust me, if you can develop your own thinking, these kind of answers are doable. And some data from IPCC, this is assessment report six. You could also use assessment report, uh, sorry, five, six, use kar sakte. In general, it says, have increased by uh, 0 0.6 degrees since 1880, uh, driven by human activities. The one thing this answer could have added is, what are the reasons of so uh, marine heat wave? Ek schematic dal sakte the aap. Okay, the reasons of marine heat wave is largely related to anthropogenic conditions of global warming, where you have got higher insulation, absorption, conditions related to Okay, pollution condition related to a sensible heat trans from the land. So one small schematic would have also helped you. And the conclusion, marine heat waves, get okay, 20 times more likely in the future, rise to 2 degrees centigrade climate actions and so on.